Hello, my name's Alistair Parnell. I'm at Gear for Music in the studio, and I'm really happy to introduce you the brand new Aerophone AE10. This is a Roland product, the first time this company have entered into this brand new category. And uh, this is an electronic wind instrument. So what this offers is a, a saxophone layout of keys. So it's going to be very familiar for the saxophone player. Um, but of course, with a huge palette of sounds on board. Most keyboard players have access to that palette of sounds through these wonderful keyboard instruments. Uh, but in terms of an instrument player, a saxophone player, it's been rather limited uh, up to now. So this is really exciting that a brand new company has made this entry into this market. So the fingering system is going to feel very, very familiar if you're a saxophone player. The palm keys, the little finger keys, all the notes are in the right place. And it's going to feel comfortable right off the bat when you pick it up. The keys actually move, so there's a tactile response, okay? There's nothing quite like this on the market in terms of it being a very lightweight, portable instrument with very good quality sounds inside. And of course, there's some access to external sounds through USB as well. Um, on the rear of the instrument, there's a really clear screen, uh, which again hasn't happened on, uh, on instruments up until now of this type. So we've got a good clear menu system, easy to navigate, uh, very clear to read the instrument sound so you know exactly what you're doing. They've even set this up. So if you're playing a saxophone sound, say it's an alto sax, they've even already set it that it's going to be in the key of E flat for you. So that difficult situation of transposition is all taken care of for you. Um, we've also got a uh, usual thumb rest on the back, but we've also got this multi-directional thumb lever as well. This works in, in many ways. We can set it to do all sorts of CC messages to send messages to the computer, but it can introduce some flutter tongue, it can introduce pitch bend, it could maybe turn on a mute, all sorts of effects like that. Very easily to, to control. It's battery operated, uh, so it's really portable. You can, of course, plug in um, uh, uh, AC power as well. There's a jack out to your amplification. USB, we've already said, and there's even a line in. If you want to play with your MP3 player, you can plug in the MP3 uh, three player, you can have headphones on, and you're in your own little studio till the early hours of the morning. Great fun. So the new bit for a saxophone player will actually just be the octave system on, on the back. I've found this very intuitive. I've taken to it very quickly. I've only had this instrument myself for about four or five weeks, and I've found this system to work very intuitively as a saxophone player myself. So moving on to the top of the instrument, here we have uh, a very familiar setup with the mouthpiece. There's even a reed, which gives some sort of response similar to a, to a saxophone. Inside here, the clever bit is there's a breath sensor. What this does is it measures how hard you blow and therefore affects the volume of the sound, just like you would do on a, a saxophone. And Inside here, there's also a tiny little sensor that picks up movement on your lips. So this is good for vibrato, for pitch bend. Again, feels very comfortable and natural for a saxophone player. On board, we've got a whole range of imitative sounds and wind synth sounds all of them very expressive. This is going to be very useful for gigging musician if he wants to go out and play, say, in a show or in a, in a performance where it would be nice to be able to change, say, onto a trumpet, a flute, a clarinet, any instrument, you'll be able to switch really quickly. And as I say, the transposition is already taken care of for you. The USB capabilities are also really strong on this instrument. Don't forget, we are now offering uh, a new level of uh, control and expression, perhaps even more than a keyboard player 
could, because we've got these sensors built in, we can send out lots of control messages. This is great for playing through something like I do here, which is main stage. You could use any soft synth. You could even plug it into an external sound module. So all in a very lightweight package, this makes a great instrument for practicing silently, for taking on tour with you, uh, for, for, for being in a small venue and having it there by your side to pick up and, and play all these different sounds. So I'll just demonstrate for you a few of the sounds. If we start off first, perhaps, with some of the imitative sounds. So... Um, for instance, how many sax players uh, would ever dream of playing a cello? Of course, we could switch to uh, the violin. complete with vibrato uh, control, of course. Um, we can do some sort of ethnic wind sounds. Uh, we can also play um, some synth lines. And again, very quickly, if we want to thicken that up, I could just switch across and add um, an octave uh, to that or an interval above that if I wanted to. Uh, there are some sax sounds. There's a, there's a trumpet sound on here, so there's a baritone sax. <laughs> Nice little recorder. And a French horn. And then if I switch over to the computer, so now I've got some really good sounds here, very expressive sounds uh, that respond very well to my breath. Uh, for instance, I'm going to start here with this synth sound that I like. with that fantastic eight octave range as well. I can get some sampled instruments that are fantastic. And if I want to, I can set the instrument up maybe to add a mute to that. And I can layer sound. So this sound, for instance, uses a kind of voice sound with a synth sound as well. And so on. I can set up splits. I can do holding notes. Basically, more or less anything that a keyboard player can do on the fancy keyboards, uh, we can set up here on a wind synth now. So this is the opportunity we've been waiting for. It's a very accessible instrument for a saxophone player. We've got a huge range of sounds, both on board and by USB into a computer or soft synth. So I suggest 
uh, you need to check out the Gear for Music website and have a look there because they're going to have some information very soon on this instrument and I think it's going to be an exciting addition to the saxophone player's instrumentation. So I've been Alistair and I'm at the Gear for Music studio. Thanks for watching. <laughs>